Now this video might not have all uh, the features outlined in it. So for more specific tutorials, make sure to go to watch tutorials up here or you know, the question, go to support to open a uh, ticket and talk with, the, talk with the support team. Now the point of Rewardsly is um, to make uh, uh, lo no contact loyalty rewards programs and gift cards like uh, companies like Starbucks do to make billions, billions of dollars in revenue and put small businesses out of business um, with uh, advanced uh, scanner technology and uh, cloud um, reward stores. And you can create those too with Rewardsly using uh, QR codes that work in uh, local businesses or uh, online e-commerce stores that you can buy products and they automatically assign loyalty points to them uh, that integrate with the, the ones that are offline in the physical store as well and much, much more. Okay, so to get started, what you wanna do is go to store here to create a new campaign and everything's gonna be um, organized under your store. You go to over here to where it says create new store and just fill out all the information, uh, including the name, uh, your store URL. Now this will be the URL that hosts your QR code for people to scan in the store. Um, now as you can see, I already have one created here for uh, this Duck Donuts business. You can edit it at any time like this. And uh, to view the QR code right off the bat, we can go to visit here and it's gonna show the QR code with a, a lock behind a pin so you can display this on your iPad. Whenever the customer comes in to buy, you know, instead of just scanning it right away, you might wanna you know, enter a secret code which you get right here and that unlocks the QR code uh, once you enter that uh, code. And then they can scan it or you can go ahead and just um, uh, visit it without the secret pin uh, for them to scan. Then what you wanna do here is uh, uh, once you have the initial store set up, we wanna start adding uh, rewards and you know customizing the QR code uh, more. So what you wanna do is go to the reward section. Now also, I just wanna point out that uh, as you can see with actions here, you can also go to reward this way. And there's many other features. So if you want the QR code hosted on the you know, businesses domain or your domain, you just go to the C name section here. You can add any retargeting codes um, to that uh, URL. Anyone who subscribes through the QR code or to your program, you can add to a specific autoresponder. And then uh, there's some shortcuts here to, to uh, your gift cards and your rewards. Uh, so let's go to add reward this way. And uh, what we can do is create different rewards that people can earn uh, by shopping at the small business location. So make sure that the store campaign is selected or you'll be creating rewards for the wrong store. And then go over to create new reward, reward like this. Or uh, we can go ahead and edit a previous reward like you know free coffee, for example. And I give it a name and rewards points. And this is the amount of points it takes to get that reward. So say they shop at the business. Um, after purchase, they scan the QR code to earn their loyalty point. And once they've been there six times and you know uh, they bought um, you know, six coffees, it's time for them to qualify for another free coffee. So they can cash in their loyalty points for one free coffee. So it's worth uh, six. If you wanna make it worth 10, then you just you know, bump it up to 10. Um, and then you can choose uh, when they can redeem it so they can get it right away. Uh, they might have to wait a certain number of days if the product has to come into stock, for example. Uh, then we can choose uh, the template so there's already a bunch of templates for you know popular rewards and products like burgers, coffee, uh, but you can customize it if not uh, by uploading an image. And uh, you can upload an image this way. You can search on uh, Pixels or Unsplash for tons of images like a you know a coffee image, um, and then add it here and then customize uh, you know the rewards. This is what's going to look like in their membership and any sort of um, notifications that are going to get whenever they go to redeem the reward. So we have the email technology into Rewardsly that will send them uh, an email whenever they go to redeem a reward or really um, when they sign up for a membership or, or um, get any sort of notification with short codes here, including you know the reward membership URL. So they can log into their reward membership URL and um, view all the rewards at any time. Okay, so there's uh, some additional settings um, including the ability to uh, create multiple QR codes for a specific local campaign. So right now we have one QR code that when, you're, when you scan it, you get one point. And um, uh, there's the a, a cookie technology available, so you can only scan it once per day. Um, you can add multiple days here. Uh, so um, 
if you can, if you only want to give away one rewards point for every week, you can make the cookie seven days. I can also make it so they so um, you have to you can manually approve every point. So whenever they scan something in a restaurant, they're sitting at, at a table. You can log in after you know they're gone or you know as they're checking out uh, to manually give them the reward point. You know and this prevents you know someone just scanning it over and over again or something like that. So there's a number of uh, various safe mode technologies in here, um, and then we can also customize the actual uh, QR code. Now we can um, get the embed code of it and embed it anywhere. We can add another one, so we can have another one that whenever you scan it, it's worth you know uh, two points, or something like that. Um, and then there's of course the option to just give points um, for them checking out without the QR code. We'll, we'll show you that in a second here. So they can have multiple QR codes per campaign, and uh, you can go to QR code settings here to customize it and see how it looks uh, with different colors and text. You can also make it dynamic. So if you want to embed this somewhere, like a you know a, a thank you page URL, if you're delivering a bonus or something like that uh, for them to join your program, you know you don't want it to be like the same one over and over because someone could scan it multiple times maybe. Uh, so you can make it dynamic so it changes every few seconds, but yet it still links to the same rewards membership they sign up with, and gives them the same you know amount of points. Plus, you can uh, have it show the rewards membership URL that they can quickly you know, log in and see how many points they have. Are they close to a reward? You can choose to show that or, or not show that. Um, and there's some additional settings, including like the email notifications. Uh, you know, whenever they sign up, you can have you can send them a specific email with um, short codes. Uh, you can send them a reminder notification. Uh, so whenever they're getting close to redeeming a reward. Uh, it will send them a, a smart reminder uh, to you know get them to uh, uh, hurry up and go get that reward. You can turn these on or off, and um, uh, there's the way to translate it as well as reorder the rewards. Uh, but also, you can go ahead and create gift cards in addition to all these rewards. And you do this by going to gift card, choose the store create add new gift card or you can just go ahead and edit a previous gift card and then just like rewards um, go ahead and just go through the steps to customize it including you know giving it a name um, creating how the variations for how much it's worth like 25 bucks 50 bucks uh, choosing the template customizing the template you know, just like the rewards works, including adding their logo, adding any uh, image, a specific image you want, and an email notification, which includes uh, an actual uh, gift card secret code. So just like you know, you buy a physical code, physical card, and you scratch it off the back, it has the secret code that you know shows it's uh, valid. Well, you can uh, Rewards League will automatically uh, create a gift card image secret code uh, to every gift card that gets purchased that you can add as like a, a short code in the email. So whenever you purchase the gift card, it says, hey, congratulations, you know, so-and-so sent you a gift card as a gift. Here's your secret code. So whenever you go into the actual physical location of the store, you know, they can enter that in their you know, POS system or uh, their payment processor or even just manually deduct you know, whatever you have, $25 from it. And they know that it's valid because uh, it will show in like the customer section and the orders section. Um, all right, and then to see your gift card at any time, let's go to gift card dashboard. And go to actions and you can visit it uh, and launch it or embed it in a site and then they can see the gift card and you just click buy and you can you know buy for yourself or send it to a friend you just type in their email uh, their name and then pay and it will go instantly just like you know something like Amazon's gift card all right now also rewardsly is going to work with uh, with online shopping too uh, without the need to scan like any QR codes or anything to learn earn loyalty points and if you want to set up an online store in addition to a physical location or, or just do the online store, you know, no physical location at all, uh, we go to products here and begin customizing uh, your store. Okay. So uh, before you create a store, you have to create products that are going to be sold. Uh, here's, you know, some of the products we've created for our Duck Donuts online store they can buy. And at any time, you can just click this home button to show it in the store. So say, for example, you know, they're, they're making jelly donuts for the day, but uh, at 3 o'clock, they ran out. Well, you can just log in and quickly click this button, and now people can't buy them online to pick up in the store anymore. 
Uh, and then uh, to edit the products, it's just like the rewards and the gift cards. You know, we're just going to go to actions here, and then it's going to walk you through those same steps for you know the amount of costs, uh, the points they can earn. So whenever they buy a jelly donut, you know they can get one point loyalty point earned at checkout, and then they can exchange those loyalty points for you know a, 12, a free box uh, of uh, you know twelve dozen donuts or something like that. And then again, there's always to customize the template. Um, add media, FAQs, reviews, so it looks, you know, like a product uh, that that has that is going to convert well, like an Am like Amazon does with like their reviews, their FAQs. Um, so it will actually, you know, sell and convert online. Now you can do things like um, assign categories in your store. Um, this is all available up here. There's a way to set points value. So if you want to do something where you know they buy, they get a bunch of loyalty points, but they don't want to like cash it in for a specific. A cookie or a specific coffee they just want like 20 bucks off their order you know like Starbucks you can do that as well so you can go to set points value and then for every they can exchange like for every 100 loyalty points earned you get 10 bucks off their order you can do that as well uh, we can change the theme we can add different categories that will display on the website now to actually customize the website itself uh, we have to go to website template here and then click live preview. This is going to show us the uh, what the website looks like. Uh, this is what it looks like I'm working on. And then anytime they go to you know buy something like okay I want to buy a, a donut and pick it up in the store, it's going to ask them to sign in to their loyalty membership. You know just like Dunkin' Donuts does. And if it doesn't, you can click sign up, and then it's going to capture your email, going to capture your phone number, uh, and then it will track your loyalty points. And then um, the loyalty points will integrate. It's the same. Uh, membership URL that you used in the physical location too. So they all uh, integrate. So if you buy you know a coffee in a physical location, then you buy a different one online, those all go toward the same loyalty membership. Now for the, the site, uh, you can change the template out. There's a number of different templates depending on uh, what version. Uh, they have like a the pet template, uh, food template. Um, you can customize everything uh, like I'm working on here. Now it's gonna now depending on what template you use, uh, like I started with a, a photo one and then changed it out to like a, a local donut one. So it's showing like photo like a camera here. Now this is just like a placeholder for the actual product. So whatever products you have turned on, like I showed in that previous step, uh, they're gonna show like here, okay. And the categories are gonna show like this, and if you click on them, uh, you can view more, and then. Uh, now to edit each section, you know, you just push it up or down, and then go over to, or here to turn it on or off, or edit the, you know, the text, the color, all the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, text and things like this, uh, the color of the background. And uh, there is a QR code section here you can have if you want. Now if they, if it's like, um, you know they're on their desktop or something. They they don't want to like type. <laughs> they can scan the QR code. Uh, quickly join the the membership URL that way. Now this QR code it won't add points or anything. It's just for setting up their membership. Okay, so it's not like in the online store. All right, then we can save our uh, template and uh, save our website, and the website will be uh, live for them to begin ordering from and building their and uh, creating their rewards memberships for them and assigning loyalty points. Um, okay, so also it's very important that um, you know to, to accept payment online uh, for your for your store or for a local client you're working with. You have to go to integrations and make sure the store is selected. So you have to make sure Duck Donuts is selected, and then the Duck Donuts admin connects his PayPal or Stripe that way, and then it will go. And then the refunds will be issued. The the employees will be paid, etc., through their Stripe account. So you don't have to like connect. Like if you're an agency, you don't have to connect your PayPal, and then have to like log in and issue the refunds and tell them when people bought. They do that, and, and you do this by organizing it by store here. Or if you're an agency, you can also give access via the agency license. And then the and then by going to add client, the client will get their own login where they integrate everything, they manage their products, they manage the rewards, they do all the work, and they sign in through this URL here. Okay, so this is for the, those using it as an agency. Um, okay, so there's a there, there's a tons of other features. Now at any time we can like go to customers here and um, edit everything about them. So if, say for example, you know someone bought. Um, 
or they did a good deed and we want to give them you know loyalty points or reward for free we can go to any customer here and uh, uh, view their points history so this is uh, um, let's go to one where they have some points uh, so we can go to uh, 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 view points history now if you have it on the manual mode uh, you'll have to uh, go ahead and um, there we go uh, you'll have to go ahead and approve all these points so these points are all approved already but if you have it on the manual mode you'll have to go in and, and uh, manually approve them just you know if you have it on the safe mode and we can add rewards points at any time you can delete rewards points um, we can just delete the whole customer. We can add rewards to them. We can assign rewards to them. Uh, so in case you know they, they email and say, "Hey, we bought something, but I didn't get my loyalty points," or so I scanned it, but you know I couldn't get the QR code thing to work that day because the, the iPhone was being weird. You can manually log in and make sure they get their loyalty points that way. Or if they were abusing the program, delete their loyalty points. Um, and then we can go to orders at any time and manage all the orders. Uh, to see if people legitimately bought, if they didn't legitimately bought, if they're ready to, to cash in a gift card, uh, you know, what, what's their what's their secret pin for that? Uh, did they actually buy it? Um, and then, uh, as you can see here, we can import uh, customers with loyalty points. So if you already have a loyalty system and it's not any good, and you want to use this one, you can import customers, and it will already have their active points, right? So so you can switch seamlessly from you know loyalty program to loyalty program. And uh, uh, there's ways to integrate with uh, POS systems, autoresponders, and um, much more. Okay, so this was just a, a tutorial to, to get you started, um, thinking about creating these loyalty campaigns, uh, where to go. And you can begin diving into the more detailed tutorials and full knowledge base we're creating uh, as well.